Ah, dear. Well, did Paul Keating today just cause trouble? Did he blow up the meeting in Canberra between Foreign Minister Penny Wong and China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi? Because that meeting seems to have been frosty and certainly unproductive. Our Penny Wong would have been furious with China's Wang for organising another meeting tomorrow with Keating. The former Labor Prime Minister is a pro-China shill who's been bagging the Albanese government repeatedly for supposedly being too tough on China, when the opposite is actually true. This is Wong, actually China's Wang rather, trying to use Keating to divide Labor. And it's Keating agreeing to be used by the Chinese dictatorship. Now, the Chinese foreign minister is promoting Keating like this because he says exactly what China wants, that Prime Minister Albanese is too pro-American, shouldn't have ordered the new nuclear submarines through the AUKUS steel to defend us from China. Peaceful China. For $360 billion, we're going to get eight submarines. Right? This must be the worst deal in all history. China has not threatened us. It's all been untrue. Well, this attempt to divide us with the Chinese Foreign Minister and Keating together might have caused the backlash because Penny Wong came out of today's meeting with the Chinese Foreign Minister announcing no deal, no breakthrough, and instead listing all the criticisms she's made to Wong uh, on China, including its harsh jailing of an Australian Chinese dissident. We discussed the sentencing of Dr Yang Jun. I raised Australia's concerns about human rights, including, including in Xinjiang, Tibet and Hong Kong. I expressed our concern, our serious concern, about unsafe conduct at sea, uh, our desire for peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and in our region. As for China's Foreign Minister, he dodged the press conference there out of arrogance or maybe a fear of a hard question. To the panel, Cameron Milner, former Chief of Staff to Labor leader Bill Shorten, now Director of GXO Strategies, and Michael Costa, former New South Wales Labor Treasurer. Cameron, uh, it's true that the Prime Minister and the Chinese Foreign Minister were all smiles during a photo session that lasted all of 40 seconds for the media. Again, no questioning uh, was allowed. But did Paul Keating actually make things worse for China by agreeing to a meeting with the Chinese foreign minister in an obvious attempt by China to split Labor? Oh, Paul Keating has, but Paul Keating is a sad apologist for Beijing, and it's a tragedy that this is the way he wants to be remembered in terms of politics. But isn't it wonderful to see that typical bully, Penny Wong, who's so good at giving it out, being bullied herself by Wang? Um, it's an amusing sort of look at, at the reaction she had, so frosty, so steely. Um, the reality is that Penny's <laughs> all about words, not about actions. If she was genuine, she'd go to Taiwan, she'd go to Tibet, she'd meet with people in Hong Kong who've been repressed by this Chinese regime, if she was genuine. So I think actions rather than words count for a lot. And Penny should actually react properly, not with a shopping list on one day, but every other day, pushing back against China. But it's the first time for a while that I've heard her bring out a shopping list. So, uh, I mean, I'm grateful for small it's mercies, true. although I do take your point. But, uh, Michael, the thing is, of course, that there was nothing that they could point to that was productive out of these meetings, apart from the fact that it had occurred. Well, that's true, Andrew. And um, I think that is productive, the fact that they're talking. But, look, I, I take issue with what Cameron just said. I think Penny... Wong did the right thing. And, you know, I'm not a fan from way back. I'm saying this, uh, trying to look at it objectively. I mean, Keating um, is fast becoming the sort of Malcolm Fraser of the Labor Party, you know, the former Prime Minister that nobody wants to be seen with. And um, I think she did stand up on those key issues. She listed all the issues I would have listed. Um, I don't know what action we can take. What I'm concerned about is, um, you know, all the pressure that's coming from the National Party and others, um, that somehow we do some deal on wine and all these um, commodities uh, and give up the sort of principal issues to do with the South China Sea, the Uyghurs and everything else. And I might also add, uh, I didn't see the um, Hamas fellow travellers out there protesting this bloke. Um, they're so concerned about human rights, but uh, here we've got um, one of the most repressive regimes or a representative of it out there and there's no protests other than the um, protests from the Tibetan people. So... Look, overall, I think uh, Penny Wong did the right thing.